everybody. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm so glad you're back with me today. Here on this channel, we 50 plus women come together to look and feel our best and stay in the game. So today I'll be showing you my favorite products for January. What I plan to do is every month I'm going to write my faves on a spreadsheet and then at the end of the year, I'll look at all of the faves and give you my absolute best, most favorite from all of those. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things that help us look and feel our best at 50, 60, whatever, just click that bell to be notified of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend, that would be just great. Okay, let's get into this. And I have a lot to go through today. My faves and a few really big fails. Okay, my first fave in January is a great little foundation and it's a drugstore foundation which is just wonderful. This is the Revlon Colorstay 24-hour foundation. It's called Natural Finish. It sets for normal to dry skin but with my aging skin just getting a little bit drier I think the moisture finish of this really helps kind of bring on the glow. I've really been enjoying it. I wear it in the color 200 nude. I find that it has a very skin-like finish. It goes on beautifully. It does not streak. And my days are very long. They start at about 6.30 in the morning when I apply my makeup and go to about 10 o'clock at night. And this little guy stays the course. It lasts all day and into the evening. Now, my next faves are actually eyeshadow palettes. I just dropped one. And I absolutely love both of these. And they're both matte palettes. I have really been realizing that I think as I've gotten older, I have got to get away from the shimmery shadows. It is almost like an addiction for me to keep going back to those shimmery shadows, but I have this book, I have this one on right now. This is the Milani Ungilded Most Loved Mattes Palette. It's an absolutely beautiful palette. Look at all those very, very natural colors, but yet with the burgundies there, I think that just gives you a little bit of pop. And one thing I've been loving is I use this under my brow and then I use this on the lid, and then I use this little brown in the transition, but I give it a little halo of this orange. Look at that beautiful orange color. If you have blue eyes, you really do need orange to make your eyes pop, and even if you've done kind of a cool look, mixing it with a little bit of a warmer shadow, maybe in that halo area, that orange just gives you a little bit of pop. There again is the brow color. See how pigmented that is. There is the lid color. I think I mixed it a little bit with that one too. And there is that little transition color. Absolutely beautiful. And that is under $20, so it's a very, very good deal. You get a lot of shadows in it. Now, the second matte palette that I've been experimenting with all month, and I'm really loving it, is this Makeup by Mario. What's it called? It's called Master Mattes. And look at all these beautifully neutral shades. I really, really like that. And it is kind of rare to find an all matte eyeshadow palette that is totally neutral. I absolutely love these. Again, this is a great brow color. Look at how pigmented that is. This is a very good transition color, as is this. Really, really, really pretty. And then in the outside V, I really like using one of these kind of burgundy-ish colors. Very, very pretty. These colors go on absolutely beautifully. And I have noticed that with my aging eyes, I really just can't take all that shimmer because it does exacerbate the wrinkles that are on my eyes. And I have one hooded lid and it really exacerbates that. And you have to get used to the idea that rather than shimmer, it is more beautiful to have unlined eyes and absolutely no wrinkles there, just a beautiful canvas of smooth. And that's what I'm getting with these matte palettes. Okay, my next set of favorites are actually blushes and they're drugstore blushes, which is all the better. The first one is the CoverGirl True Blend So Flushed Blush in the color 320 Love Me. And I would say of these two, if you're my age, probably go for this one first. And this is the one I grab most of because it has no shimmer in it at all. Or no, I don't, I really don't think it has any. There it is, just a beautiful, very neutral, universal type color that is the peachy pink. I don't need any more, but oh gosh, oh my gosh, I just did it to myself. Okay, I'll show you what I do. I kind of went a little too far and this is my Real Techniques blending brush, I call it. I think it's a sculpting brush, but I did go a little too far. So look how that just blended that out beautifully. And if you don't have this, I would definitely put this on your list because it helps you blend out blush and contour. Just make sure that you're not looking like a little old lady with too much makeup on, but I really do love that. And if you're in the market for a blush, this just gives you that kind of ethereal, I've just gone out in the snow. I've had a wonderful day with the kids. I've come in and my cheeks just have that beautiful flushed look. 
that's exactly the color it gives you. Absolutely almost magical. Now what I've been doing is I've been putting this on top of it. And this is the L'Oreal Blush Please. And it is in the color 11 called Blushin' in Riviera. I hate it when they say Blushin'. I'd rather have the G there. But anyway, look at that. And this does have some shimmer. In fact, I would say that's kind of what it, uh, what it specializes in. I'll go ahead and show that to you. Oh, I forgot my blush brush. And... This is the BK Beauty 107 brush, and I'll go ahead and just put a little bit of that on top of there. But what it does, it is an absolutely gorgeous color, but more than that, it just gives you the slightest little bit of radiance. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. And it is not so much that you would think, oh, Beth has a highlighter on. It just looks like Beth has really, really glowing cheeks and really, really good skin. I think that is an absolutely beautiful color, and I especially like it paired with the CoverGirl True Blend. Now, there's another fantastic L'Oreal product in the same line. That was the Blush Please. I just showed you the last one. This is the Bronzer Please, or Bronze Please. And I have to admit, this has totally surprised me, but I absolutely love it. And the reason it totally surprised me is, this is very much like the L'Oreal Bronze It, which was my favorite, favorite, favorite bronzer for the last couple of years. And I really couldn't believe they came out with this because I thought, how can they improve upon perfection of that other one? But I will say, this is amazing. And if you haven't tried this yet, I think you may need to put this in your shopping cart if you want a really, really natural, kind of glowy bronzer. And I didn't put any on because I did want to show it to you. So I'll go ahead and show it to you. And this is in the color 03, which is, I think, light. And this color looks like it would be very dark, doesn't it? And at first I thought, oh my, if that's the lightest color, I'm in trouble. But it does not go on dark at all. I'll just go ahead and take a little brush, dab it around there, a little bit on my forehead, just a little bit across my nose, a little bit in the cheek area, a little bit on the white chin. Now, put a little bit down here on the neck. See how it has just given me a beautiful kind of radiance, a little bit like I've gotten a little bit of sun, not overly done. It just kind of blends in that kind of pale old lady look that we get sometimes. I just really think it makes you look younger and dewier and that little bit of iridescence in it, I think really helps. Okay, this next favorite is a super high end and I absolutely love it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm Face Palette. And I got this in the Sephora sale over Christmas. It has a great mirror there. But look at that, absolutely gorgeous. And this is very, very versatile. Basically what I do is I use this as kind of a blush highlighter or just as a standalone blush when I need to. This is just a beautiful, beautiful little traditional champagne highlighter. I'm going to just put a little bit on my cheekbones here and I'm going to end up looking like a mess. I should not do this. I had my makeup all done and here I am adding more. But it's kind of like I get sort of like you guys and my girlfriends and I'm like, oh, let me show you this, let me show you this. So just a little bit there and then just a little bit on the cupid's bow. But look how beautiful that looks. Just gives you a little bit of iridescence. And then I am using this as a contour. In fact, this is what I have on my face right now. I won't add anymore. Oh gosh, let me do it. Oh my gosh. Let me get the Real Techniques brush out again because I've just given myself a little bit of a chocolate bar. See how that blends that out? So pretty. And here, I hope I've done a good enough job of blending. But anyway, I absolutely love this. And if you're in the mood for a splurge, I think this is a good one. Okay, my next monthly fave is a lipstick fave, and it's a lipstick I've been wearing all month. It's the Ilia brand lipstick in the color Rosette. And here it is. It is what I have on right now. Isn't that pretty? I'll go ahead and apply it again. I don't know why. I don't really need it. I've already got it on, but I just want to show it to you. But look at that. That is a nude, but it is a rosy nude. Like the color name implies, Rosette. Absolutely gorgeous. It gives you just a little bit more color. I think it also makes your teeth white because it has a little bit of that bluish color to it. Very, very pretty. And then I won't show this to you, but this is again a BK Beauty lip liner. Oh, I guess I'll show it to you. Here it is, and it is in the color, what is this one? This is in the color Warm Spice, and that's how that looks. And that matches my lips very, very well. So I just have that Warm Spice around my lips. And I've been using these BK Beauty lip liners like crazy. I almost can't draw myself away from them. And then as a gloss, I've recently discovered the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. And here they are. I had to buy five of them. They're absolutely beautiful. And I'll show all of them to you in a future video. But I particularly like this little color. And it's very, very surprising. Take a look at that. 
Wouldn't you think that would be one of the ugliest colors known to man? But it is called crystal, and look look how pretty that little tube is. Absolutely beautiful, and I think it's $6.99. It's crazy. And look, it looks like it would be very, very dark, but let me put it on. Very, very pretty. Oh, look at that. It just gives you a little bit of iridescence on any color you're wearing. I think you could wear this with about any color lipstick. Here, let me show you a picture of them showing it on different lips. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? It's just got the tiniest bit of sparkle, the tiniest bit of radiance, and it really does make your lips feel very luscious and moist. Absolutely love this lip gloss. Okay, this is my last makeup item, and I'm going to get into some really fun things in a few minutes, so please stick around with me. Everybody knows who has followed my channel that I love this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I have probably used it for three or four years, and I never find anything I like as well as this. And maybe about a month ago, I mentioned in a video that I was trying to use this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, and that I wasn't liking it nearly as well. And I admitted in that video that I hadn't used it very much, and I had many, many women say, hey Beth, you have got to give this a try. This is major and wonderful. And so over the past three weeks, I'd say, I have been using it and I do love it. Not only is it great as a replacement for my Urban Decay setting spray and spraying my makeup brushes before I do an eyeshadow or a foundation, something like that, but look what it does. It absolutely does give you a flawless finish. It has very nice tiny droplets so you just spray it on there and then just go ahead and give it a minute to dry because you really can't get a fair idea of it until it's dry. And there it is dry, but look at the beautiful skin that it has given me. It just gives you a little bit of radiance, a little bit of glow, and it does set your makeup all day, which is just wonderful. Okay, my next two products are a favorite and a fail. And this is something that I tried maybe about two weeks ago, starting two weeks ago in a video, and I have used it every morning since, and I absolutely love this. This is the Michael Todd Beauty Sonic Clear, I think it's called, Sonic Clear. And I bought an extra brush to it, I bought the sensitive brush, and this goes right in your shower with you, right in your bathtub, and every morning I use this, and I'll turn it on for you. It has like three speeds. I don't know if you can hear that. But basically you choose your speed you want and then you apply water to your face with a little bit of cleanser. Then you scruffle it around and I think it's got four different quadrants. I don't really listen to it too much. I just do it to the extent that I need to do it. But it does have a program that allows you to do all four quadrants of your face. And I am really excited to be using this because a couple of years ago, I saw a Dr. David Lim video. He's the laser guy who's down in Australia. He's amazing. And he was talking about the number one beauty tool that every woman should have. He said, is it a derma roller? No. Is it a laser light helmet? No. He said it is a sonic cleansing brush. He said, not only do these clean your skin much better, but they also get off all the rough stuff, all the dead skin cells. They exfoliate your skin, just uncovering more beautiful, more radiant, younger looking skin. And I think since I've been using this, that my skin is looking better. Now, I have to say that my success on this prompted me to order this little guy. Because I had been thinking, even a week before I found this, I'd been thinking, wouldn't it be nice to have some sort of a tool that exfoliated your body? And I'd always heard of this, the PMD Clean Body Smart Body Cleansing Device, and I ordered it from Amazon, and it was like $169. And quite honestly, I thought, well, it must be great. You know, it seemed to be highly rated, but to cost that much money, you would think it would be great. Well, I used it one morning in the shower, and... I was underwhelmed. I mean, the, the thing is tiny. The thing is about this big around. And so to do your arm, you're really having to scrub for a long, long time. And it has a couple of different heads on it. It has a massager, and then it has something that says it's diamond crystals that's supposed to be for your elbows and your knees. But this was too darn much of a hassle. I did not like it. I put it back in the box and I'm sending it back to Amazon because what I use instead are these little guys and these are workhorses. I would not have normally put this in a monthly faves video, but I have to admit I've used these for probably four years now and they really are a basic fave for me. I love them. These are just the little bath mitts and they're scruffily material here like this. They wear forever. You leave them in the shower, maybe for a week at a time, and then you throw them in the washer. They come out just the same. You put these little gloves on your hands, you get them wet, you put on some soft soap, something like that. 
and then you can very quickly scrub your whole body and really get your elbows. These things are so rough that they get your elbows beautifully, they get your knees beautifully, and I can basically clean my whole body and exfoliate my body in about five minutes with these versus with this little guy to do it, it probably would have taken me about 20 minutes and it was no fun. Okay, before I get into some really fun items, I have something I want to show you. I, I'm doing a video about how to look rich or how to look classy, something like that, and I got these from Amazon and they're only $15 and they're great sunglasses and they are dupes for like some Gucci sunglasses apparently, but aren't those just cool? I just feel like a movie star in these glasses and they're a whopping $15 and they have them in a bunch of different frame colors like brown tortoise and that kind of thing. But I was reading in the comments, a lot of people were saying, when you really just want to have that movie star class, go with a black frame and black lenses. And these have the SPF in them, that kind of thing. And really, when you think about it, how different are the Gucci's? They're about the same shape and they're all made out of plastic. So it doesn't make any sense to spend $300 on a pair of glasses. I did that once. I bought some David Yurman sunglasses maybe about four years ago on eBay. They were used, but they were like $200. And quite honestly, they're already out of style now. So if you want that designer look, I would definitely go with a knockoff and look like a movie star for less. Okay, now let me get into some fun things. The first thing is what I use to give my hair body. And I've really been experimenting with a lot of different things on my hair lately. But these are the T3 Jumbo Hot Rollers. And they're not all that expensive. I think they're like $100. But usually the T3 items are several hundred dollars. So I'm really, really happy with this. And as you can see, it just gives me the faintest amount of volume. These rollers heat up extremely quick. They are foam rollers. And so they're very gentle on your hair. I absolutely love this and I'm really liking having a little bit more body. Okay, now we're going to shift gears a little bit and get into some kind of interesting products, not that the others weren't, but this is quite unusual. I had never heard of this before. And for those of you who have followed my channel, you know that I have IBS and every now and then I'll do a video about the latest thing that I found that helps my IBS. And quite honestly, the things that I find, I, I think they're a cure and then two weeks later, I'm starting to have issues again. And the last video I did talked about a great free food list, which I'll link below. It really is helpful. But the problem with things like that is you really have to be totally strict on those food lists or you're going to only be marginally helped by it. And on that food list, one of the things it mentions that I'm not supposed to have, that I'm supposed to avoid, is coffee. And I love coffee. I no longer drink. I don't do anything illegal. Nothing that I would do like when I was maybe 18 or 19. Everything I do in life is just kind of stable and by the book. But I don't want to give up my coffee. And so I was continuing to have issues with that. Well, basically the Ombre probiotics people reached out to me and I had never heard of this. But I had known all along that I really needed to have a good probiotic and I would buy them at Walgreens, but I was never sure they did anything. Well, basically this is Ombre Labs and it is a customized probiotic. And I have been on this now for almost a month and I think I'm experiencing some really positive results. It took about a week before I could tell a difference, but all of a sudden I was able to get away with eating some of those questionable foods and I didn't seem to have any problems. And this is really a wild thing. And how you do it is you go to their website and you sign up for it. And I have a $30 discount code. It's regularly $99 to get your customized probiotic test. And I've already done this. And basically what it entails is you have to send a tiny bit of your stool as a sample because their scientists analyze it to determine what probiotic strains you have enough of and what probiotic strains that would help you that are kind of lax in your system. And so I did this and there's a code below the video for $30 off your custom probiotics test. And so it's regularly $99 and I think it's $69 using my code. But basically what you do is you go, you pay for it, they send you a little stool kit and you take just the tiniest bit of your stool and you put it in this little vial that is some sort of a fluid, some sort of a chemical that they have. You shake it up and then you secure it and you put it back in the pouch and you send it back to them. And within about three weeks, you go back to their website and enter your username and password. You had to set that up when you ordered the kit and then you can see your results. Now, because this is a favorites video, I don't have a lot of time to go through this, but if you'd like me to do a special video showing you this entire process and all of the different probiotic results that come back, then let me know about that in the comment section below the video. But basically, they send you a report on your stool and what probiotics you need, and then you can click this little link and it will take you to your custom probiotic formula. 
and it costs about $30 a month is all. And to me, it has been really, really worth it. Ever since I started taking this, I've had maybe a couple of issues in the past month, but nowhere near what I usually have. I just have the sense that this custom formula, and this is my formula, and these are the little pills here, but I have this sense that something about the probiotics are just kind of calming down my GI tract because it does not seem to be as sensitive and reactive as it has been in the past. Apparently, it can take like a week before you start seeing any difference, and then the difference becomes more and more apparent over time as your system gets used to your custom probiotic strains. But so far, so good. I am really liking this. And again, if you'd like to see a more in-depth video about this customized probiotics program, let me know in the comment section below the video. Okay, that one was a weird one, but this is equally as weird. And this is actually CBD oil, and it is a fantastic company called Jupiter. And I will have to tell you that I have tried CBD oil in the past for brief periods, but usually it tasted so bad, kind of like dirty water. It just didn't taste good. In fact, this is one of the little bottles I bought. I think one of them I bought at this little strip mall and, and I went in there and it was kind of dark and they had incense going and it felt a little like, you know, back in the sixties, kind of hippie like. And, and I did buy it because she gave me a free sample and she seemed really nice. So I bought it and then I took it home and I started using it and it didn't taste good. So I stopped using it. And then I ordered this one from Amazon, R&R brand, and it has kind of a strange label. Just looking at that, it doesn't give you a lot of confidence that maybe, you know, what's in there is healthy for you. But I, I want to start by saying that CBD oil is legal in all 50 states. It has such a small percentage of THC that you could never get high on it. It is not psychoactive in any way, but what it does do is it calms your nervous system. It calms anxiety. It's supposedly good for depression. It's certainly good for sleep. And I have noticed the sleep benefits because I've been taking the Jupiter Dreamland Organic CBD Sleep Drops and I have been taking them for about the past three weeks. And for those of you who have followed my channel, you know that I've gone off sugar recently totally and that my sleep was getting a lot better. I could sleep later in the morning. I mean, that was pretty amazing, but I was still having difficulties getting to sleep at night. And ever since I started taking this Jupiter Dreamland, it is like I can go to sleep very easily. What you do is you just take one dropper full of this, and I'm not going to take it because I don't want to go to sleep. You do it about an hour before you go to sleep. It's just a little clear oil there. Just absolutely beautiful. It has a beautiful taste to it. It is not bad at all, and it really does help me sleep. And then in the morning, and anytime I get anxious throughout the day, I've been loving these Jupiter Oasis Organic CBD Calm Drops. And this is CBD, but it is in a formula that just brings on a little bit of calmness when you have anxiety going. And I will tell you that I found out about this great company from a friend of mine who's a YouTuber, Kimberly at Pretty Over 50. And I mentioned that I was having trouble sleeping and she said, Beth, have you ever tried CBD oil? Have you ever tried the Jupiter products? And I said, well, I tried the CBD oil, but it tasted bad and I didn't like it, so I quit. And she said, oh, well, you will love Jupiter. She mentioned that Jupiter is a family-run company and that she'd had multiple conversations with Tyler, who is one of the owners of the company, and that he totally specializes in customer service and there's a total money-back guarantee. But I've just started these about three weeks ago, and I'll go ahead and read you one little review to kind of whet your appetite to maybe learn more about this in a future video. Amanda P says, makes me feel great. I rarely write reviews, but my experience with this product inspired me to share one. I've been using Jupiter for six weeks now and have never felt better in my adult life. Not only do I sleep like a baby, but my stress levels are also so much lower. I have three kids and a busy job, but the last few weeks felt just capable, happy, calm, and focused every day. I'm taking Jupiter every morning and evening and have found that that helps me most for both stress and better sleep. Couldn't be happier and really appreciate this product. Thank you so much. And what Amanda shared there is really how I am feeling on this. Not only am I sleeping so much better, but I just feel a sense of calm, a sense of optimism, a sense of positivity in my life. There is something about this that is just lifting that little bit of depression that I tend to suffer from from time to time. And again, I've just started this for about the last three weeks, but when I've been on it a little while longer, if you'd like to see a complete video about it, please let me know in the comment section. Well, that was a look at my January favorites. And if you have favorites, things that you really love, please list them down in the comment section below the video because I would love to try them out too. And I can't wait to see you in my next video.